Hi there, Ginger Roses. Welcome back to the YouTube. Hope you guys are good. We're back in it again with another video. Today, we're going to be looking at you guys' funniest stories. I asked you, what are some of your weirdest, funniest school stories? And you replied, <laughs> oh boy, did you reply. I have gone through and handpicked some of the best ones. I thought I'd dress as the, uh, the teacher. I thought that was appropriate for this because uh, I can react as the school teacher. Let's get straight into it. Some kid brought in a knife while in year seven and threatened a year 10 with it. <laughs> yep, that sounds like a year seven. That is a classic year seven right there. Why? Why would they do that? <laughs> I don't know what kind of rough school you go to. That is, uh, that is pretty intense. I don't think anyone in my school brought any knives in. I mean, not that I know of, anyway. <laughs> That's pretty scary. I know that actually after I left the school, I think someone got stabbed. Ugh, it's actually creepy to think about. <laughs> next, next one, some poo that was on school toilet roof fell and landed on my back and no one told me. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, J Jara McDonnell. Somebody should have told you. Somebody should have informed you of that. How rude of your friends not to tell you. I mean, I'm surprised you didn't know, to be honest, because I'm sure, surely it would have just stank, stank the whole school out. Next one. This guy sh and wiped it all over the walls. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm noticing a little bit of a pattern here with some feces. I don't know what it is about sh so far, but there's a lot of it. I do remember that in my school, to be fair. The secondary school I went to, I just remember walking into some of the toilets and they would literally just be brown all over the walls. And I, I bet you, I bet you it didn't happen in the girls' toilets. It was only the boys' toilets because boys are f disgusting. <laughs> but yeah, I, what, why? How have they picked it up and wiped it over the walls? <laughs> it's grim. <laughs> Next one. I dislocated my thumb and the school nurse gave me a wet paper towel and a sticker. Yeah, that is classic school nurse. They just give you a wet paper towel for everything. Even if you're like nearly dying, I think they give you a wet paper towel and just expect you to live. We had a really horrible school nurse at my school as well. She just had no sympathy whatsoever. Like someone would come in with a broken arm and be like, right, I think you can go back to lesson actually. Just give you a wet paper towel. Off your trot. Back to maths, you little sh. Next one, kid got arrested for bringing a gun to school for show and tell. We live in the UK. How the sh did he get it? Really? Is that a true story? That sounds like something that would be on the news or in the newspaper or something. I don't know. I don't know. How did he get it? Maybe it was a year seven. A kid sh himself on the stairs at school. Why? Was he scared to go down the stairs? Yet another story to do with poo. It's a classic. <laughs> you guys are addicted to poo. I don't know what it is. People poo in crisp packets and leave them in the... Leave them in what? Leave them in the what? <laughs> People poo in crisp packets and leave them in the... What? I need to know now. I'm going to be wandering through my house and just find a poo-filled crisp packet. <laughs> <laughs> Leave them in the Jake's house. One of my mates went into a random lesson, then screamed and ran. We are year seven. Okay. Thank you for that story. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever done that. I think I've walked into the wrong classroom before. I think I remember doing that. That was embarrassing because I just, yeah, I, I didn't want to be seen by anyone ever. So walking into the wrong classroom where all 30 pairs of eyes stare at you. What are you doing in here? I f myself. <laughs> Another poo story? No, I didn't really poo myself. Was in a cubicle next to someone and some of the white stuff got on my shoe. No, it didn't. No. No, it didn't. Okay? I don't believe that story, but if that is true, I'm, <laughs> I'm really sorry. That is, um... That is horrible. My hair got caught in my maths teacher's belt buckle as he walked past. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can imagine the scene. How short are you that your hair got caught in his bed? I suppose you just sat down like me. Imagine another teacher walked in as you like you two were like fondling with each other. Your hair's stuck in his belt buckle and you're like this. And he's like, oh, get off. <laughs> oh, that teacher would be arrested. At residential, a teacher was shouting at an almost fully deaf kid for five minutes to wake up before the other kid said anything. The kid didn't wake <laughs> The kid didn't wake up to the teacher shouting, so they had to shake him. Oh, he was asleep. <laughs> that is so funny. Imagine the teacher getting really angry. Demetrius, wake up! <laughs> and I suppose none of the kids said anything because 
they're all finding it really funny. That was a great story. Thank you for that. Someone had a dead rat in their bag and the teacher booted his bag down the stairs and screamed at the top of his lungs and it turned out the rat was alive and it sprinted right at the teacher. Then he chucked it out a window. I see some of these. Some of these just sounding made up. Why? Why would there be a rat in a, someone's bag? Why would a teacher <laughs> scream and chuck it out a window? If it's true, fantastic story. But I, I don't know if I believe it. What do you guys think? You believe it? Let me know in the comments. In year six, my teacher sat on a chair and it broke and we all started laughing at her. Then the other teacher told us off for laughing. Oh, that's not very nice of you. How dare you laugh at her? Was she large? Was she a large lady? <laughs> Why did the chair break? Why did it break? That, that does sound very funny. And I think anyone deserves to laugh at that. I think also if the teacher that fell out of the chair wasn't laughing, I don't think they're a very good teacher. Unless they were hurt. If they were hurt, then fair enough. But if it was just like, oh, I fell out of the chair and got back in and they were like, why are you laughing? I don't think that's a very good teacher. I think comedy is needed. A little bit of comedy is needed in classrooms. It's how you get respect for teachers. My mate brought his pet stick insect into school in year five for show and tell and someone killed it. No. <laughs> Probably just thought it was a stick. I want more details on this story. How do they kill it? Um, that's all I want to know, to be honest. <laughs> How do they kill it? Do they sit on it? Do they mistake it for an actual stick and try to snap it in half? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's pretty sad. I had to face the wall in assembly for taking... I'm sure that's meant to say talking. And Sir told me off after and was right in my face spitting at me. Spitting at me. He was spitting at you. He was right in your face going... And then just spat in your face, did he? Probably not. <laughs> well, thanks for that story, Chair. Um, that's going to sit with me for the rest of my life. When I was in reception, I pooped in the playground hedge. <laughs> it's another poo story. When you're in reception or year R, did you call it reception or did you call it year R? We called it year R. You're like, how old are you? You're like four years old? Four or five years old? So you know what? That's fair enough. I hope no, <laughs> I hope no one saw you doing it and you managed to like get away. A stealthy let me know in the comments if you're watching. Did you did you get away with it? Froggy Man 321. I peed myself in year two because the teacher didn't let me go to the toilet. Yeah, why what was that? Why do the teachers not let you go to the toilet? Like if I need the loo, let me go to the loo. I know we've got work to do, but I'll come back and do it in a second. I don't need a fing toilet pass. Teachers were annoying sometimes. So yeah, I'm not surprised. You peed yourself in year two. I would have done as well. In year six, we were on our school residential, and whilst everyone was doing activities, a boy pooped in a toilet, the rub it's all on the walls and beds. Why are there so many? Like, school kids are disgusting. Why would you shit and pick it up in your hands and just wipe it on the walls? I just I feel so sorry for all the caretakers and the cleaners. <laughs> that has got to be the worst job in the world, cleaning children's feces off the walls. I did a huge fart in year two, and the whole class, including the teacher, laughed at me. So that's good. At least the teacher didn't tell you to get out and they weren't angry, they laughed. That is a, that's a good teacher. I would have gone well with that teacher. I've, I've definitely farted in school. You just got to blame it on someone else, haven't you? There was a point in school where my friend group, whenever there was a fart, whether it was me or not, they would just be like, oh, Jay, get out. And a lot of the times it wasn't me and they would just be annoyed at me. Got PTSD from that one. My friend pooped. <laughs> what a great poo story. Thank you for that, James Hughes. We have come to the end. That is all of them. Uh, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Send me more stories if you have them. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. It really helps me out. We're trying to get 1 million. It's going to happen this year. Hopefully in the next couple months. Take it easy, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Oi! Subscribe! Oh, God, please subscribe. Subscribe. Uh, subscribe. Rub crime!